Well, one of the things we've heard about uh, coming out of the proposed governor's uh, budget in Albany is the elimination of what's called Medicaid crossover payments for ambulance services. What happens is Medicare is the primary payer. They will continue to pay. The 20% copay, which normally Medicaid pays uh, the ambulance services, will no longer be uh, reimbursed uh, by Medicaid per this uh, proposed budget cut. In this region of the state, uh, ambulance and emergency response is a very fragile industry, and losing the capacity uh, to charge Medicare for uh, ambulance responses uh, is, is going to be exceptionally problematic uh, and could really result in people not having uh, uh, the service. For Duchess, uh, we have a number of uh, ambulance providers. Uh, we rely on both public and private ambulances, uh, but uh, for advanced life support, in almost every case, you're dealing with uh, uh, a private vendor who needs the capacity uh, to be able to bill uh, Medicare uh, for, for certain expenses. W without being able to do that, uh, you have a situation where uh, their, their entire business model could be upended and we lose the service. Because of Medicaid regulations, the elimination of this payment, we're not allowed to bill anyone else for that services. So it's revenue not only for mobile life, but again, any ambulance services that has a large proportion of these patients, it's going to directly affect the amount of revenue they'll recover. And if there's nowhere else to turn to to get that revenue, it's going to affect in, in diminishment of services available to the communities. We hope that the state legislature will reverse what the governor proposed. Uh, we'll continue to advocate for that reform. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to strengthen uh, what we do in emergency response so every one of, uh, no matter uh, their means, uh, can be confident uh, that they're going to get the response uh, that they deserve.